is ready to go. You ready, baby? The baby sleep. We just got here. So let's get her into daycare and we'll pop back in. All right, so daycare was open. <laughs> so sad to drop her off, especially when there was like no other people really dropping off the kids. There's like two other babies in there. It was on three babies, including Nala. That's it. I felt, I felt wrong for dropping her off. But she was fine. She was fine, but. Like we said earlier, that stands we gotta do so. He's at the P.O. box. Now, gonna check and see if they have anything while we near it. So as I knew we would, we making a stop at Lowe's Town. But look at David, trying to be a nice husband. You know when I went to Wawa this morning, somebody was like, the cashier was like, dang, your husband loves you. Boy. Cause my ring, oh. but the way he said it, he was like, dang, that's a big one. And I was like, a big cup of coffee? I don't know what we talk about. He's like, that rock. <laughs> you might want to loosen the straps. I was saying, your foot still fitting? No, loosen the straps. Oh, you don't know how to tie a Hey, you say this much trouble. Hold on. Here we go. Yeah. Hold, hold on now. I can tell you how I feel it. I can tell you what to do. I got you. What to do? So pull the tongue up. I'll try. Tongue. Uh -oh. Tongue. Yep. Pull it up. Uh -huh. Then I'll help you. Okay. Hold on. There we go. Your and back. And then pull the back. Hold on. Your back, like way down here. Uh. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me you tie. Pull it. the tongue first on these ones because they're different types. So I tie shoes a little different. <laughs> I just do the. <laughs> Uh, for the longest, this is how I learned to tie shoes, is two bunny ears, and then you go around like this, and then you do boom. Mm -hmm. And then I learned afterwards that most people learn like this, but this, I used to get a whooping because I didn't know how to do this. <laughs> this, so it, this is how they were trying to Don't teach me. my hair legs. They are trying to teach me to do it like one loop, and then wrap around, and then go into this, but I think this is more difficult for kids to learn than the two bunny ears. That's black. So I used to get whoopings. <laughs> Cause I didn't know how to do it that way, and I just did the two bunny ears. I don't know what I do. You got me second guessing now. Yeah, I remember that. I'll tell you one thing: my shoelace feels secure. <laughs> right? You ain't gonna have no twisted ankles up in here. The shoes ain't usually this bad though. These are all the only ones I find that do it like that. And these are the cool shoes though, so you gotta keep them looking good. I almost walked out. You almost went. <laughs> you know you still strapped in, right? I was about to go. You still strapped in. I'm tired already. You ain't even get out the car yet. I know. And you got coffee. Come on. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, get that stretch out. Oh, yeah. My stomach was out a little bit. Yep. <laughs> that shirt ain't big enough. Yo, I remember I was watching um, oh, the car on. Dang, I gotta get the key. Is the car off? Nah. I was wait. I was waiting until you was good to go. No, see, I, I wanted you to sit in the AC. See, I knew. I wanted you to sit in the, the AC. The AC was not on. No, I was waiting for you to go. I did that on purpose. So check out what they got here at Lowe's, y'all. They don't care about Thanksgiving at all. At all. It's all about Christmas. <laughs> Them things big. If, if this thing is this big up there, how big would it be on your house? This thing was at least 12 feet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> at least 12 feet. I know. This would look gigantic. This is probably the tallest of house. Yeah, this is like, look how big it is. I can actually uh, sit. I can get in the. I can get in <laughs> Don't you get in Don't you get in there. Don't you get in there. Anyway, we at Lowe's. I don't know why, but we here. Yeah, I got, I'm um, supposed to mow the yard, but I need something. Oh, you looking for the little uh, weed whacker? Yeah, I need a string. This one. Dang, that fireplace looks good, don't it? Yeah, it do. Yeah. <laughs> it do. Look at this reindeer. It look nice. It ain't on sale yet, though. That's a nice one. Ooh, got a soft, soft opener. But did you put that pictures? In here? Mm-hmm. No, you put like a cable box or something in there. Oh, okay. We can't get no big Christmas tree because our ceiling ain't mm -hmm. high enough. <laughs> That's kind of a good price though. 700 Or what? The tree? That's a lot. I thought it was going to be more than that for that tall of a tree with lights. That's a lot. 
Cause you trees be like two, three, two, three hundred dollars. You can find it cheaper than that. The trees be like two hundred. It's a twelve footer. You can find it cheaper than that. Now, if we have one of those like Atlanta style houses, this is the type of tree you get. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't pay seven hundred dollars. You that. wouldn't pay seven hundred for a lot of stuff. <laughs> just a stroller. I'm just saying, just a stroller. <laughs> You see him dancing? Oh, he better. Nah, they ain't trying to sell it. He was just. Oh, ooh. ooh. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We what you doing now? I don't get what kind of dance he tried to do. That's a swole Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about eventually doing a little doing like a feature wall in her playroom. But I'm like, even if I did one, I don't want a pink room. That's the first color that came to my mind. Or if it's pink, I would do something like this. Yeah. Like a muted pink. Or one of them Target pinks. Like the paint that we got from Target. Mm -hmm. They have pink too. We mm -hmm. definitely got to do more glitter. Double the glitter. Since we got, you know, all girls in the house. Yeah. You know. But I like this color. This is very pretty. You like this color? Yeah, it's nice. You notice how the quality of paint that we painted in this room is different than the paint that they gave us with the house. Oh, for sure. When you put your hands on it, it don't leave no marks. Oh, for sure. <laughs> it's definitely way better. Definitely way better. Sherman, Sherman William has really good paint. Oh, yeah. Um, here's uh, another type of paint. This one's pretty, too. On camera, it looks kind of brownish. Put it next to my black shirt. But it's like a coral. That one's really nice. Yeah, I thought about that. Cause I definitely want to spruce up that room, but I want to also make it cozy for us to be in there. So, like, um, one room at a time. Yeah. All right, y'all. So it's been quite a few hours since we seen you guys. It's like three o'clock. I went to go pick up some more mats for Nala's room, so I'm about to put that down. Babe was Go. working on the yard. Go finish it. So he's going to finish that now. We did spend some time. He was folding clothes. Remember I said the house was a disaster. So he was folding clothes. We were looking at um, um, stays for like we talked about earlier for Disney. Now we're going to get back into it. It's 3 o'clock. I'm put these mat down. Try to start working on organizing her room. So I can start cooking and stuff like that. So... I'm going to show you Nala's room. If I didn't show you already, it's a mess. I'm going to figure it out. I do really want to take my wedding dress out of here, but I don't know where to put it. So, like I said, she got toys all over the place. So I definitely want to figure out a better organization of this. This was my old makeup room. We got a TV here. I really hate that it's light there right there. But I'm going to move some of the things out of here and then put the floor down. So let's see how that goes. All right, so I am finally done with these mats, finally. So this is what it's looking like in here now. It's not the entire floor. Sorry, I'm carrying a tripod, so. It's not the entire floor. I mean, I could get four more to do the whole room, but in reality, it's not really necessary, but it's looking good. I'm happy with it, so you can walk over here and see. So this feels a lot more what I'm going for. I wanted it to be something good. So 
I really want to move this out of here and put like chairs or something comfy for us to sit down in this area or this little kitty corner. So I don't know how it's going to end up and I want to paint this accent wall and David want to put a new TV in here. But if you put a different TV in here, I don't know where this TV would go or maybe it'll go in her actual room. So yeah that is that now that this room is pink and white i wonder what direction i'm gonna go with this so should be interesting okay guys so i'm back uh it's actually about five o'clock or so so it's time for me to pick up nala um it's just gonna be me picking up nala because i don't know where babe is at or what she's doing let's check and see if she's in In the baby room, huh? Yeah. Oh, good. Let me focus. Sorry. Mm -hmm. In the baby room. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. What you doing? I'm trying to put all the new baby stuff where Nala can't fit stuff in this bin. Too large stuff in here. And just kind of go through the stuff again and what she actually can fit. So, it's probably look like a hot mess in here, but. <laughs> you gonna get it together? Yeah. Got to. How long you think it's gonna take? That's just probably not uh, 45 minutes. Maybe. By the time I get back? Yeah, and then I'll cook. Hey, you guys. So, last time you guys see me, David was filming me getting Nala's and new baby stuff together. But the camera died, so that's what happened abruptly. So, he did end up leaving, picking up baby Nala. He just got back. But I just finished putting up new baby and Nala's room and cleaning up the room. And this is what it's looking like. So, um, those are the chairs from Nala's baby shower and that little thing. It fell off of this. And I got to, like, redo this whole thing and placement thing. But yeah, her bed is made. All the clothes are up. <sighs> I need to cut the tags off these pillows because that is so annoying. But yeah, the room is pretty clean. So I'm pretty appreciative of that. I am one of those odd people that actually consistently, as well as David, use our changing table every single day. So this is the towels I got to put up. But this is the clothes that... Um, she's gonna be wearing tonight and tomorrow. So yeah, I just got all the bath stuff and medicines and all that on the bottom and I did organize her Clothes that she can actually fit So I don't really like folding clothes especially baby clothes because they're so small So I like to look at them really quickly So I kind of color code them a little bit based off of style or color. So mostly whites and pinks and depending on how flashy the stuff is Kind of some more pinks and stuff like that and more of the dressy tops on here kind of done the same thing just her casual wear so i got two drawers of just that stuff she can fit and then this is all her pants and that is pretty much it and i decided to organize these little like cube things because it was just getting out of hand so i decided to put all her shoe and socks in here that she can actually fit and the ones that she can't fit no more i put them right here and it says i don't know if you can see it but it literally says newborn shoes on it so all the stuff she can't fit and will be with other baby or new baby i put there this is the bibs this is all the oversized stuff she cannot fit yet and hats that she cannot fit no more and there's nothing in here so I'm gonna be going through all this pretty soon to see what she can actually fit and if it is too big I'll leave it on the hanger if it's small I'll take it off and make space just in case if we need to get stuff for Nala's new clothes or baby new babies new clothes if we get any so I need to go through that really soon and exchange her diapers and all kind of stuff but I did want to show you what uh, the finished product of her room looks like this is the bin of all the clothes she had that she outgrown 
and that only the new baby would be able to fit at this point so this is like one full bin of stuff she cannot fit no more so we're gonna put this in the guest room and lock it up until i have to go through it again in a couple of months to understand what's actually newborn size in there but yeah i put it right there for david to come and grab but i don't think i showed y'all the finished product of the actual baby room y'all should know how it is once you sit down or whatever and being pregnant it's a whole lot a whole lot so um david and baby already been in this room but i'll show you what it looks like overall so clearly the mat is looking good and fits in the room well i end up moving the wedding dress over here for now i guess she was playing in here with babe so she just kind of pulled out some of the toys got her little napper there and i put the bouncer over here she's not using this yet so i just kind of pushed out in the corner as well as this she's not using yet and this is like a little area where we can kind of lean against with her little line and covers and stuff but we do plan on putting like some seating so this is what it's looking like but i do want to get more inspiration from pinterest uh what direction i want to go since this is going to be both girls room but let's say hi to them the living room's still a mess i'm trying to cook i'm trying to cook and everything like that and get tonight ready it's just a lot going on in so little time so this is babe and baby how you guys doing this talking how was daycare i had fun how was daycare? I was laughing, playing with a ball. I'm so sorry we didn't get you earlier as we thought we could, but. It's okay, it was still two babies in there. <laughs> it was still two babies the whole time? Dang, mm -hmm. nobody dropped off the kid. We such bad people. But baby's chilling. She might be getting ready for bed soon, but that's gonna be daddy's job today because I gotta cook for us. Mm -hmm. So I need to go back. I am making spaghetti. Ugh. Ooh, I'm tired, child. I'm so tired. The water's boiling for the spaghetti, but I'm trying to light where I cook it, but kind of got to turn this off because I just found onions and bell peppers, and I ended up sauteing some mushrooms because I didn't think I actually had onions, but ended up finding out that I did, so I kind of stopped cooking it. See if I can throw it in, and hopefully it won't be too much. I just want to say that it feels. I guess not. Those aren't no good. Let me continue what I was doing. All right, y'all, so, excuse me, but your girl's a little bit overworked and over, I'm just burnt out. So David is actually finishing the spaghetti for me. This reminds me of a lot when I was pregnant with Nala and I can't really do much, but definitely can do a lot more with this baby, but David's taking over for me. Like I said, he's finishing the food. I don't know what it looks like cause I'm done. So we swapped. And I'm watching Nala and he's finishing the food up. Whatever he's doing is just gonna go. So before I end up being done, I thought I should close out the video. It is currently what time, babe? Eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's Nala's bedtime. She usually bed. she usually in bed by now and sleep or almost asleep. And she don't wanna go to bed, clearly. She is playing with a hanger. Uh, Nala, where you going? Uh, she's still up and 
in play mode. I'm talking about you. So I'd rather her wear herself out than to overfeed her. <laughs> That's you. Hey. Yep. Hey. 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 Go ahead and close out this video. Hopefully everything came out clearly. And I know that this video isn't our normal daily routine, but yeah, you just kind of gotta go through the motions as we go through it. So yeah, that is all for this video. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. In the next one. Peace. Peace. Can't come right to you, mama. Just say free black young, free young. Lady Woods in the morning. R.I.P. your mama.